<laughs> Hello, Sheriff. How are you? <laughs> you notice that bit emotes don't work like in subscribe notifications? Anywho, let's get this over with. I haven't looked at this version of the game. Ooh, it's loud. Hey there, Mazonaga. It's anyone can say me. I don't know. This would have predated Rockapella, but it's CD audio, so I'm holding holding out hope for some lyrics. I don't think it's gonna happen. So I know I've played this game. <laughs> Every single one. <laughs> Oh, does it not work? It shows up uh, for me when you do it. All right, that's enough. Oh, dude, I'll be damned. Huh? The music just kind of said bye. Face recover. Huh. I can't help but notice that I picked English, but that's Japanese. Stop. <laughs> okay. It's like making save data. <laughs> Every time I jump. Hey, what if, uh, never mind. Headquarters. <laughs> Every time without fail. You know what it is? That sword emote is incredible. I just now noticed it. That's not show Kosugi, is it? Anyway, I had coffee in the afternoon today, which I usually don't. I usually only have it in the mornings. Oh, it's his evil. Well, I, he was in the movie, so I feel like an angel got its wings. Well, that's not Carmen San Diego. Yeah. <laughs> Rookie dot. Yeesh. I, I let me pick English. Oh. Oh no, it's boring. <laughs> Uh, museum. Plan to study wallabies. Okay, so do I fly to where wallabies are sold? This is just the beginning. Like, I've been live for 10 minutes. Sydney's Spectacular Gamer House. That's right. So I probably like didn't gather enough intel about the guy, right? A vile henchman. Okay. What? That was kind of cool. The Conquistadors.
What? No dang what? Aha. <laughs> Let's see. I don't know. Here. Okay, hang on though. <laughs> Clearly, I meant to do some kind of research. I don't know why. Oh no. Is this how you type questions? Oh, all right. See ya. <laughs> Am I supposed to like enter what we know about the subject here? Subject, suspect. Oh no, I don't know any of this. Would it be in Lima? Lima? He changed his money to souls. Soul currency. Peru. Yeah. Peru was my guess. What? Why did so much time pass? Oh, are you? <laughs> you can't see it, but I'm dancing. Yeah. <laughs> uh, sport club. What good is that? Oh my god, I already forgot. Uh, sport club. <gasps> Was that sound effect in like the computer versions of this? You wanted to catch a type Ipon? Uh, Oh. Uh, a Taipan. A Taipan. Taipan. That's in French. <laughs> Upset that we only serve seafood. Who cares? What? Can I put that in his file? I've done that. Mount climbing. Is this how this whole game works? Or is be. This is how it works, but I don't have anything to go on. Or wait, tribal culture is what he wanted to study? What good does that do? Where would that be? Where is this? I don't know anything about the world. I grew up in Missouri, the New Guinea, eh? All right, I'm going there. I grew up in Missouri. 
And I spent one year keep asking the men question into what? This this whips ass. Listen to this. So do I like ask the same person multiple times or what? Ah, nearest neighbors are Indonesia. There should be Thai pan here. <sighs> so that's the thing. It's my my intonation, intonation, my intuition for pronunciation is all screwed up because I've lived in Missouri most of my life and then in Japan for one year. So like I used to be able to look at a word and just guess how it's pronounced and be pretty good at that. But... He said that he hated dangerous sports. This is so boring. <laughs> yeah, like I'm doing, right? Huh. You can rule out mount climbing, that's true. Well, no, but that's not fair. <laughs> But anyway, yeah, like studying Japanese, like just completely screwed up my intuition for how to pronounce words like. What's that? Desert, there's like a Sonoran desert or something. It's spelled like this. And of course, I saw that and it's like Sonoran like that. <laughs> the first time I said it, it was like that. And I just sort of like slapped myself on the forehead. <laughs> really? That's funny. Had a fancy ring on. Okay, so jewelry is his, um... So male jewelry not mount climbing. Nintendo accent. <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> well, I would say Tucson because I know. But point taken. Okay. Ah, uh, Pat Palace. What? Oh, it spells crisis. <laughs> I was like, what is a rhesus? <laughs> Sleeping. Did I have to sleep because I got shot? Toxin, yeah, I mean, stop. That's it. Oh, was that him? Was I supposed to look at him? I haven't gotten to any of them yet, thankfully. Did I lose? Why did I lose? Dar Grainolt. No, I didn't. I didn't have anywhere near enough information. <laughs> Flash.
Sunday, 5 p.m. Got it. So do you have to get, like, lucky then? Cool, whatever. Riverfront. I got a good feeling about this. Left in a yacht flying a red flag. I saw a yacht flying and I was really confused for a second. Okay. Had to. Yacht. Red flag. Yeah, tattoo is a feature makes sense. So can I like add it right now? Or do I have to like do it all at once? Yes. Dazzle Annie, Len Bolt. Okay, thank you. Yeah, I couldn't like figure out how to do that. Oh no, that used up time. Oh, nuts. Thanks, Gunstar. I don't leave yet. You don't know where he is. Yeah, but I don't want to enter that in because it costs time to enter anything in. All right, change this money to rubles. Would you ya? Um, shit, does that narrow it down? Fuck, rubles, it's... That's what they use in Russia, right? Or at least did it at the time of... Okay. <laughs> The hell is this Barney? Okay, here we go. No. Oh. Uh huh. Right. I mean that that's kind of what happened last time. I caught the guy, but I didn't have. Blue and white flag. Blue and white flag. He tried to conceal it. Is he going to say tattoo? Mmm, I know about the tattoo. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A fig buyer. And he had red hair. Red hair is good. is a fig buyer okay so uh, whatever his automobile is it, it like hasn't been positively identified yet What? I didn't need all five. I could have caught the last guy. It, it really does. What? Where am I going? Mexico City. Yeah, in hindsight, that does make sense. The uh, marketplace. Ah. 
no, I didn't, I didn't mean to go on the computer. I want to put the computer away. It takes so long. Stop saying vehicle. Convertible. Convertible. So what's the last thing we need to know? Like, is the hobby? Who cares? <laughs> oh, duh, you're right. Duh. I'm guessing it's this. I haven't heard of this. I'm, we're learning all sorts of things. I think this might be a renamed place. Place. We got to learn about. I think it's this. It's not exclusively a Mormon thing. Oh, we probably know his hobby, right? Because he likes dangerous sports. <laughs> not that it matters, but... Arbor. Checked out all the books about volcanoes. Red and blue flag. Oh no. Oh, I don't know flags at all. <laughs> it's it's got to be Iceland, right? Find the guy. He's at the library. No, it's another Rysis. <laughs> it should be a comma. <laughs> there we go. No, right, that's another crisis. Yeah. Was he giving me the finger? Oh, they gave him a teddy bear. Skull jail. The Rome police have apprehended Len Bulk. Are these names right? Or are they like, you know, have they been translated to Japanese and back? What if you just had the exact same game, except you were Zenigata and you were chasing after Lupin? Wouldn't that be sick? Hang on. I'm going to Google Len Bulk. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I was already doing it. it. It tried to get me on the Lean Bulk diet. You have been identified, Dot. Oh no. I oh, look at that. Splatterhouse is next. Oops, I accidentally turned the console off. 
and I put Splatterhouse in. I don't know, you know, <laughs> it's, it's not a fun game to play in this day and age, but it would have been really cool to play that at school. All right, here's the deal with Splatterhouse. I've beaten this before with the default number of continues, but it's pretty tough. So I don't really know how long I'm going to play it. I'm playing the Japanese version because I think the US one has like a couple changes. Um, I also don't know if it's going to be way too loud. <laughs> this kind of sounds ugly and like kick ass simultaneously. This is one of those old beat em ups that like doesn't have a Z axis at all. It's still tight. I think that goes away eventually, yeah. Oh no, Rick! There we go. So like, basically you have one attack button. If you're standing, it's a punch or you swing with the weapon that you're holding. And if you're crouching, it's this kick. Like you can attack really fucking fast. There's a long like recovery time. No. Um, and then the, the only special move you have is if right when you're about to land, you hit down it might be down an attack but down forward an attack works as well and it's better if you miss it um then you do this slide thing which actually has some invincibility frames oh wait you don't have to kill them well whatever well this game rules is why it was considered a killer app i think i like remember just kind of doing this against this boss That's cool. Good for them. Yeah, you don't get a full life refill, so all those hits actually really mattered a lot. I, if I recall, one night I decided I was gonna beat this game, and so I just like sat down and did it. And, <laughs> not that I would ever use it, but there's no like continue code or anything. So, I had to start over with the default number of continues pretty frequently before I finally managed to do it. I don't really feel like turning this into an all Splatterhouse stream because I don't remember anything about the game beyond that it, it whips ass. This game is so cool. Could be. be a novel take on the concept. If I recall, it's like sort of easy to get hit by these guys. I've been told that, um, hey, thanks for following. I have been told shoot, that if you're of a mind to try to learn to 1cc this game, it's not that bad. Um, like, it's one of those games that really does get a lot easier once you just memorize where everything is. I don't get it. Oh, is it a... Uh... That one game, the squid game on the Nintendo, 
Remind me what that's called. Splatoon. Shoot! If you know what you're doing, you can just like juggle this uh, hoosha! This um, chair against the wall like over and over again and it dies super fast. Uh-oh. Have you once cc'd the arcade version or this version? I think they're like so close that it's not like tremendously different. I feel like Vigilante might be the same way. I, I like watched some of the arcade version and unless it's really difficult for reasons I'm not seeing, it does seem to basically be the same version or the same game. But one difference with the PC Engine version is uh. The last boss is maybe slightly harder, actually. I forget the final phase. I think this painting comes after you. Yeah, and yeah, you can just sort of do this, but you have to do it right. This game would have been, oh, dummy. This game would have been really scary, I think. <laughs> in 1989, 1990, I mean. It's the sort of thing I would have been like fascinated by as a kid, but I might not have had the guts to like actually play it. This, hey, thank you, Chubo. If I recall, there's like a trick. So you grab this shotgun and you never do standing attacks. You never fire it. And then there's some way to like There's some way to get the shotgun over to the boss where there's another shotgun and then just blow him away, but I have no idea how it works. Give me that. Oh, I get it. I picked up the rock somehow. Whoa, okay. No. Uh, no, it's the Famicom version of that. Um, F's Nerdity. So the one that still has the Udusei Yatsuda license. Which that game was supposed to have. So, do you, like, do this? <laughs> well, I died. Oh no, it checkpointed. I, I can't get both guns now. Yeah, this guy is really hard, if I recall. Uh, I thought maybe the... Yeah, okay. You're like invincible as you do the slide, I think. But you have to do that entire jump to set it up, so... <laughs> yeah, I could see that. This guy rules. I like this game a lot. Stage IV. Boosh! Boosh! So the game, I might be thinking of Splatterhouse 2, but I think this game has like branching paths. So like if you fall in the pits, you won't necessarily die. You can end up on different routes and some of them are easier. I might be thinking of the sequel, which is a Mega Drive exclusive. And it's about 3% as good as this game, which means it does kick ass like a lot. Do you remember the, like, easiest route?
Top top, okay. So, this, you can memorize which of these have ricks in them, but I don't remember how it works. I think is it every four for a while? So like, the next one after this will have it, I think. Oh, no. Oh, really? Mm. You can do that, like turn around and slide in the opposite direction, but it's like hard. I swear it can be done. Yeah, it can be done. What a strange attack. Silly fight. I did the slide, dude. Come on. Hey. From a neutral jump, sure, but those aren't neutral. Oh yeah, I should be getting points. <laughs> what am I doing? Boosh. I don't know, to me this is just a delight of a video game. No, what happened? I tried to do one of these. I don't know how this works. Like, if you turn around during the active frames, are you hitting in both directions, or...? Yeah. That kind of stuff, like, went a long way in video games back then, but the funny thing is, like, I feel like it's still, like, a lot of... retro-inspired, or classic game-inspired, you know, retro games. Don't really take advantage of the fact that, like, it's a lot easier to include, like, unique enemies in <laughs> games these days. Aha. There we go. Uh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> You've been watching a lot of Streets of Rage lately. Since it's been, uh, topical. This is gonna be it, right? This is Rick. Say hello to Rick. Oh yeah, this part's like hard. This is um, changed pretty substantially in the US version, I think. I feel like maybe you don't want to pick this golden cleaver up. I assume this is like a fixed pattern. Well. These really remind me of Mad Balls. <laughs> to, 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 to. Yeah, they do. Dummies, quit trying to slide. 
Okay. I was hoping, if I recall, you do run out of this cleaver. It breaks eventually. Would have been kind of nice to not have to use up charges on the mad balls, but... I don't remember what's different about this. Like, if the Ross is removed or maybe just not inverted anymore. And, like, I know there's, like, an altar after this and, like, it's just not in the TurboGrafx-16 version. So you beat the boss and you walk forward and I I think there's, like, nothing here or something. Wampaku Graffiti? Yeah. I played it. It's Okay. Just kind of floating. <laughs> yeah. And then this scene is like super long. Oh yeah, the plot is that you're looking for your girlfriend. I think her name's like Jennifer or something. I think it might be, I forget if in this game it's like you die and then you put on the mask and you become this big meat person and then go track down Jennifer. Or if I'm thinking of like the sequels. So this part. Yeah, like these slopes like give you a ton of momentum. So like I don't understand how you're supposed to not take hits here. <laughs> I guess that's not. I don't know, I feel like maybe this slide isn't quite as good as I thought. Really? <laughs> Do you think this path is easier, Duke? Oh dear, I'm so glad she didn't drop that because I was too busy punching the air to, to dodge. Dummy. Oh! I died, dude! Yeah, I seem to remember fighting a necromancer. Again, That I might be thinking of the sequel. I don't know if there's a necromancer in that one. I just didn't even see it. <laughs> the face, it blended in with the background somehow. Wake up. Well, I'm going down now. I've taken this path. <laughs> this guy's so fucking cool. That wasn't too bad. Unless he's like not dead yet. Please go up. Oh yeah, you know what? This section is like, I seem to recall like I needed to memorize how to do this. And the solution might have been something like just stay at the right edge of the screen and turn around and attack or something. It kind of rings a bell. Check this out. This is the Jennifer encounter. I've saved her.
This game is so cool, dude! I, there's like a method to this. Is it just stay away and let her jump at you? And then punch her out of the air? Really does look like Wilma. Is this gonna be the same pattern? Seems like it. I know I've died to Jennifer before, and now I have no idea how. Unless there's a third phase. Anyway, Claire, that's never happened to me. <laughs> no, she didn't do the big jump. No, I got stabbed. I see. Yeah, what do you do about the short hop? Oh, nuts. Oh, you get hit? <laughs> well, that strat didn't work for me at all. Were you here, Murphy Gator, when we were discussing how much easier this is than the arcade version? You happen to know offhand? It seems like the kind of game you might know. Should be one more hit. Man, I'm so good. Aha, uh -huh, yeah. Your air quotes strat. <laughs> I have a lot of those. She's dead. Was it like recently discovered that this did get a really small US arcade release? Stage six is like deceptively hard if I recall. The whole stage is just this meat tunnel. It's full of these bubbles. And it's like surprisingly easy to get hit by them. And then the boss is There's something tricky about the boss. Oh yeah, and you really don't want to let these hatch. Uh, maybe for score you do. Slide, you fool! Get it off me! Stop it! Yeah, like, what are you supposed to do here? It's just enemies. <laughs> I think I've ever, like, been in this situation, actually, where, where they hatched. <laughs> you hope it has what? <laughs> you want this to be in Spelunky 2, these guys? I'm getting excited for Spelunky 2. I can't wait for it to come out, <laughs> whenever that ends up being. I like totally missed out on Spelunky when it was new. I played the freeware version a little bit because if I recall, Derek Yu released the source code for it and I was like using that version of Game Maker at the time. 
I, I told this story like last week, I think, but so like the Spelunky code was the first time I'd encountered the concept of like a state machine and stuff. I learned a whole hell of a lot from it. But then the game itself, like I think I just had a keyboard or like I didn't get the appeal of the procedurally generated nature of it, so I just didn't play it at all. And uh, I am approaching... It says I'm approaching 80 hours logged, but the actual number is more like, um... I don't know. I'm gonna die, aren't I, to the thing? Well, I've died. The actual number is more like approaching 60. Because I let it, um... I let it idle on the <laughs> title screen for an entire day once, by mistake. I have hell cleared the game four or five times now, I forget. Which it's always good when you start to lose count. I think it's an incredible video game. Okay, so definitely don't try to damage race it. No, Spelunker is a Famicom game. You're thinking of Spelunky, I think. That's also what's up with there being a Spelunky HD. I don't get what you're supposed to do. There's too many. It's just everywhere. Yeah, there's a good... Yeah. Thick. Isn't it? <laughs> I don't know what it is about this level. Hey, Frenda, thank you. It's, it, it, it pretty much is. Um, the like, this looks like it should be really easy, but I don't know, it's easy to screw up. I think it's the fact that you don't, you can't tell what trajectory these are gonna fly at. I think like a lot of Splatterhouse 2 stuff, it's like each spawn or each instance of each individual enemy always acts the same way. It's not like they just randomly choose to move in some direction. The pattern is fixed, but like the sprites themselves are not useful for memorizing that pattern. I believe, don't know if I'm correct. dead. Unbelievable. I forget if you can slide kick the heart. I think you might be able to. And the slide kick does multiple hits and more damage or something, so. But I don't know if that's like a master technique or That's only on the Splatterhouse Appreciate DVD. Yeah, I mean, the, the like, mashing I was doing the first time I fought it um, wouldn't have really been much... You get it off of me! Oh, I see. I thought they just, like, got a couple guaranteed hits and then left, but I think you actually have to wiggle left and right to shake them. Well, this one's dead. 
Anyway, I think because of how hit stun works in this, probably the issue was not that I wasn't mashing fast enough. I, like, didn't have enough HP to get away with that. Okay. <laughs> you, you like the equal sign thing? Boosh. Boosh. <sighs> this, these movement patterns are not fixed, are they? It really is random. Who has a slide kick in that? Probably Adon, right? Like Crouch Roundhouse or something? What the? How did I find myself in this situation? <laughs> it's so common for none of them to get to hatch. <laughs> All of them is a little absurd. This one sucks! Oh, and Bison. Yeah, that's true. He said the thing, and the thing. Yeah, that spawn was, like, not in my range, though. The one that hit me. What is it? Is this Splatterhouse? <laughs> this game is tight. I think this isn't the only good game tonight, but I honestly don't remember the lineup. I, I just remembered this and Carmen Sandiego. Oh, there's, like, some shmup that looks like probably no good at all. Well, that's fun to have to deal with. There he is. All right, well. Huh, they are worth more points if you let them hatch. 300 as opposed to 200. trying to get the extra life. <laughs> I won't be able to do it. It's at like 30,000. That's a good idea. Yeah, it was. The funny thing is, it's a Japanese-only release, but it had uh, English, so... Alright, well. If you think about it, that had a lot in common with the Super Dodgeball story mode. <laughs> Didn't it? That only just now hit me. The, like, jump attack is a little weird. Your first jump attack is always going to be this, like, crouch kick, and then if you chain it into another attack, you get the punch. Aha! Choo! The hell was that noise I made? <laughs> Someone was joking about making a soundboard of me, which is a joke that gets told a lot, and you know. Never seemed like a good idea, but then <laughs> and they were like, you know what you could do with it is uh bleep out swear words. <laughs> and now I think it's a funny idea. Ah, yes. <laughs> like, what are you supposed to do here? <laughs> You're just stuck. I guess I could just get hella points, huh? <laughs> no! <laughs> It's 
speak of the devil, super unknown. You were the one who was saying that it would be funny for... <laughs> for bleeping out swear words. Do you remember this? I do. I don't know when that noise started happening. It's kind of, it's a relatively recent addition to the to my uh, repertoire. You know how you can break Rush's discography down into the two vamp age and the, the solid state age, you know? And the DC comic universe into pre and post crisis. I think, I don't know comics, but I'm pretty sure that's true. What about pre and post tongue trill? Get it off of me. Can't get away. And they're... This situation sucks. <laughs> when you're here, your family. But instead of breadsticks, it's just these guys. God dang. No kidding. like I've never been super into <laughs> comics so which I feel like is out of character for me just because of all my other interests you know <laughs> so I was like I'm probably the sort of person who's into comic books and I went to the comic store and um I happened to know the guy that was working there um and I asked him for recommendations and he uh had me start with Infinite Crisis for DC Comics? That's a terrible idea. <laughs> Just like a trillion characters I'd never heard of. Like looking at the, the viewer and saying vengeance is mine. And it was just like, what, what did all this about? Like... <laughs> Probably by scoring the most points. Get off of me! Look at this! Well, I can tell you not Infinite Crisis. And apparently, like, even among people who are really into... Joe! 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 Who are really into, um... Cha! Comics, like, Infinite Crisis is not super popular. Everyone I've told that story to is like, that is a strange idea. Like, that that would be the one that would win you over. They also recommended some, like, zombie comic, and that was no good. Oh, there were two. I don't think it was Marvel Zombies. I think it was like its own thing. God, was it The Walking Dead? Like before the TV series came out? I don't remember. Anyway, I learned that I have... If I have comics I enjoy, I have like no common ground with this particular guy because I was just like sad the whole time.
think there might be two stages after this. I only remember the one. The last stage is like the mansion is on fire. Not to spoil it. <laughs> we might not end up seeing it, so... I feel like I might like Silver Age stuff. This is apparently sort of an uncommon, like, opinion, but I really like Silver Age coloring. I think Silver Age is what I like. I don't like, like... I don't know if it is digital, but a lot of the comics that I remember reading, like... Like, X-Force was new. Uh, that may be extremely untrue, but... There was a, an X-Force run when I decided I was going to try to get into comics the first time when I was, like, seven. Uh, I might have been a little older than that. And, like, I just... I thought it was so ugly, like... These, it's got these color gradients that just, like, look like crap to my eyes. Yeah, those are tight. Yeah, okay, this is the last level. These Someone pointed out that these guys kind of look like they're wearing bras and don't have heads. <laughs> is that intentional? This game's so good, dude. I'm dead. <laughs> Are they like flaming Jennifers or something? Oh yeah, I don't think you can hurt them. Uh, I'm skipping Grandzord because I don't have a Super FX. I've skipped every other Super FX game, so... Ugh, I did it again. Like, can we get the lore on these guys? Why do they look like this? Look how fucking awesome this is. <laughs> this is so cool. I think you want to slide kick him. <laughs> Good job. I really want to learn how to 1cc this game. I might just go ahead and do the arcade version, because it looks a lot better than this. Don't go back here. <laughs> that wasn't smart. Oh, I was standing inside the face. I see. Yeah, this game's awesome. Price, I just put two and two together. Do you mean S.A. Caitlin by any chance? I know her. Shoot! Why is it so hard to just jump? <laughs> Did 
Dang. I wonder if this is a fixed pattern or if you have to guess which of the hands is going to move first. Oh, you can react to that, huh? That's not that bad. Oh, but then he starts doing that. Okay, that's cool. Hey, stop. Did I slide kick? Hey, Sirkman, how are you? Good to see you. Shoot. All right. Starman, when you came down here, did you beat this or did you once you see it? Ah, oh, not too bad. Okay, if the pattern is, like, the same, then, well, that's cool. The left hand is going to swing first. Yeah, I think it might be fixed. And then there will be a left hand, yeah, all the way on the edge of the screen. Well, it's his right, I guess, technically. So I believe this was left. Maybe it's always left, right, left, actually. Yeah, they're too much. Super graphics is... Okay, well that makes things a lot simpler. This is where he starts doing it like it during this phase. Are, are you just supposed to take the hit? Ah, uh, yes, that's actually the reason I want to miss her for super graphics games. There we go. Well, I didn't expect to like not need to start over due to running out of continues. So that's something. I forget if this is GG. <laughs> I think it is. I got a lot of points. Okay. I don't know, it's a shame they made a series out of this. <laughs> like... It has the problem that a lot of horror movies do, which is like... It's great when the scope is really controlled and it just all takes place in this one... mansion and... You're also capable of being surprised by it because your expectations haven't been set by the previous... Papaya, Paya, Paya. Haven't been set by the previous uh, installments, but I liked two, but I liked this game so much more, you know? And like a lot of twos, I, I hesitate to call them set pieces, but I mean, what else do you call them? Ah, Chopin himself <laughs> composed the music for this. Well, Wampaku Graffiti is like a, a different kind of game too, you know, so it's not as big a deal. That's what it needed, yes. <laughs> Dithering owns. I'll dither this whole damn stream, I don't care. Maybe you can set Retroarch up to be pretty nice 
Like if you're using run ahead to reduce the input delay, as I understand it, I'm not an FPGA engineer, so I'm going to get a lot of these details wrong. Um, as I understand it, the, um, oh, oh, music. If you call that music, as I understand it, the primary advantage of using FPGA based emulation instead of like software engine uh, em emulation that, you know, we're more <laughs> accustomed to is um, you skip operating system overhead and USB overhead, which the mister doesn't benefit from that. It can, but it's a pain in the ass. Um, and you can control the timing of an FPGA like very, very precisely. So the benefit is just going to be in responsiveness. Um, obviously, there can be accuracy issues with an FPGA core, just like with a software emulator. So there are going to be advantages to using a mister. But I, and you know, this is coming from somebody who plays like everything on, this is the US version. Look how he has this like goofy mask. Cause I think they were, dang, I can't get him to face the screen. I think they were afraid that Jason Voorhees would sue them, but I think most people like probably don't <laughs> care that much about the added accuracy that you get from FPGA-based emulation or simulation, as some insist on calling it. And that's coming from me, right? Like, I play everything on the original console, so. Right, yeah. So like the answer to what you were asking, Coin, is probably yes. There's a follow-up question of like, do you think you care? <laughs> oh, get up the... Come on, Rick. Yeah, it's still emulation. I mean, people just... um. I think it's shorthand for like... Explaining the difference to like people like me who don't really understand computers all that well. <laughs> yeah, sorry. <laughs> Long-winded, but... Here it comes. So cool! Go get him! Yeah, uh, I don't really want to, like get into it, but I, I feel like I don't see eye to eye with the Mr. Devs on a lot of stuff, <laughs> particularly input delay. <laughs> particularly input delay. Oh my gosh. If someone is talking about input delay and they start bringing like reflexes into the equation, I don't think you should listen to that person on the subject of input delay. Don't stand in the puke. Does it not hurt you? Hang on. Science. It doesn't. <laughs> I guess it's like the same sprite as the other guys, but like it doesn't have a hit or it doesn't blink, so. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I mean, you know, ultimately, if you really care about minimizing input delay, chances are you you did have a way to use, um, what's the other output it has? Like, does it do B or RGB through like a 15 pin, like VGA kind of connector? I don't remember, or however many pins it is. Like, you could make an argument for that not really being worth prioritizing developer time because anyone who cares that much about input delay probably isn't using the HDMI or at least isn't forced to, but...
Oh, I don't know much about flags. We discovered that playing Sar Sarman San Diego, yes. <laughs> Um, did you get a... Wasn't the, like, PAL Turbo Graphics 16 release really limited? If I recall... <laughs> Try doing that in real life. Does he say something like that? <laughs> I can wait all day, buddy. Don't you, like, go to a different level if these spotlights catch you? Am I thinking of two again? Shoot! No! I wanted the shotgun. Or I, I wanted the rock. Do you think this is intentional, the, the like, shotgun juggling thing? Seems like the kind of thing that would maybe be in a game of this vintage on purpose. No. Nice. Yeah, that's what I want it for. I want it for the Game Gear. Because I was looking into getting a consoleized Game Gear. And it costs like a hundred dollars less than a mister. Well, the ultimate martial art is actually two guns. But a gun is up there. I don't even own a gun, let alone many, that would constitute a need for a gun rack. Okay, all right. Look at this little guy. <laughs> Haven't we all been there? Waboosh! <laughs> it, it really does kind of resemble Billy it a little bit. But not as handsome. <laughs> I'm glad, I'm glad you picked it up. took off. Dang. That dude had moves. Hey, Boogie Ian. The baseball slide is really good. It's going to be this one. I think that's it, right? I'm starting to think that might not be it. No, we're good. Oh yeah, the cross is like a another mad ball head. Yeah, this uh this rules. Just give me that.
Oh, wow, it's like spawning more heads. Are you supposed to just get in there and just go? reading chat. I almost didn't hit the thing in time. I think this meat cleaver sucks. I'd like to return this meat cleaver. Like, do you just want to get in there and just go? Like this? Aren't you tired of being nice, Rick? There we go. You better s s save the receipt. <laughs> You're right, they're just floating in midair. I don't know, is it just me? Or does this game like super kick ass? have a strat for these alien guys. I think if you like just sit here, yeah, they'll always jump into you. But you maybe have to whiff an attack and make them jump back first. <laughs> That's funny. Coin. I know it's going to wake up. Wake up. There it is. Oh my gosh. <laughs> of all the things. Oh, Rick. Did the... Did anyone here when I was asking, like, what was up with... I heard something recently about, like, the arcade release for this game in the U.S. was, like, so small scale that I think some people thought it was, like, just a, a location test thing. And they found, like, some actual, like... I'm taking this route, because I know it. They found, like, some actual promotional materials, I think, for the launch. Or for the the like run where they were selling it to arcades. Oh dear. Uh, sure it does, but is there a different stage instead? You're saying there's not? Shoot. But the impression I got was that like maybe this game 
had a really short-lived release that they decided to change their minds on because the game, like, wasn't going over well. Oh, he just goes straight to this? Well, I'll take it. Hey, BMF. I don't know if this is gonna happen. <laughs> says help me. Oh no! Oh she just stops or keeps. She doesn't stop is what I meant to say. She just stops or keeps. Wow. Get out. <laughs> yes. I, um... Played the... Japanese version earlier, and I beat it. Did not one CC it. <laughs> By any stretch. But, um, that uses just a hockey mask. I don't know, I guess that bad guy turned her into, uh, this thing. A bear? <laughs> it doesn't look like a... What kind of bears do you have in Britain? No wonder. The game you missed, anyone who came in during Splatterhouse, was, um, Where in the World is Carmen San Diego? Which I couldn't figure out the interface, so I let the first perp get away, but I caught the second one. I think I like both destroyed the bubble free popping and yeah destroyed the guy <laughs> that didn't happen once in the Japanese version it's happened like three times now I never had a strat for this boss, though, is the thing. I just got really lucky that one time. And, like, nothing spawned where it could hit me. Did 
they make it easier in the US version? I'm just playing it again because the US version is so different. And yeah, because it's tight. If like some junk game comes up, I don't want to sit there playing it and think like, I could just be playing Splatterhouse again. You know what I mean? Oh dear. <sighs> Every time that last log. Oh, it's not a cross, it's a it's a tombstone. Please hit the guy. So left and right, and then left. This is where it gets really hard. Well, this was going to go on the 1cc list, but I just 1cc'd it, so that's off. <laughs> Too bad about that. It's too bad it's on this, like, crappy US version, though, with this <laughs> magenta mask. It's magenta on his face, but then red up in the HUD. Now we can see if the credits are any different. Hang on. Google Translate. <laughs> yeah, thank you. <laughs> I did it. Yeah, I was gonna have Al help me out, but <laughs> then the shortage of Mr. Parts happened. The shortage of Mr. Parts would be a good I don't know, album name or something. The old Joshua and Chopin duo. Yep. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go get some water. Hopefully the credits don't end while I'm out of the room. Well, that was a lot of fun. I don't know. 
it's simple Splatterhouse, but not everything needs to have a super complicated move list, I guess. What is game three? Oh, it's Psycho Chaser. <laughs> what a delight. Well, yeah, the house blows up because Jennifer didn't survive. So you don't really get a happy ending. Uh, what am I looking for? Psycho Chaser. I think this is a shmup. And I think like it kind of has like a RoboCop look or something. <laughs> uh, the game looks a little loud on the mixer. Let me know if it is too loud. And under, assuming this is a shmup, I'm taking bets now. Am I gonna shoot first or am I gonna use the bomb first? Oh, you can like allocate points. Ah, I didn't bomb. <laughs> like, look at this. I'm sorry, but this is the silliest thing. <laughs> Isn't this such a good walk cycle? I forgot it's a shmup. <laughs> you can't get hit in a shmup. What are you thinking? I'm not a big fan of the Silver Surfer soundtrack, to be honest with you. I, I think, like, I don't have... You know how, like, to some people, um, cilantro tastes like bleach? I think I'm that way with, like... What's that guy's name? Is that Tim Fallen? I think I'm that way... Dude, this game sounds horrible. I think I'm that way with Tim Fallen's music, where it just sounds like bleach to me. just something unique about my chemistry. Oh. Hand soap, okay. Yeah, cilantro kind of tastes like hand soap to me, so I suspect I um, am one of those people. Funny thing is, like, it really... I've had so much stuff with cilantro in it that I've come to, like, tolerate it, you know? It doesn't just ruin a dish for me. Evolution? Like, the game with, uh, what is the girl's name? Linear Cannon, maybe? That game? Or am I getting it mixed up with, like, EVO, The Search for Eden again? There's, like, a bunch of games with, like, evolution-adjacent names that I always get mixed up. This is seriously, like, so painful <laughs> on the ears, <laughs> this game. Evolution Worlds, yeah. It's the it's the firing sound effect. The music to me is just there. It's it's not bad, but it's, you know. It's not good, but I can live with it. But this It might not be as obnoxious for you as it is for me. On my end it is really something. I don't even really understand what all these power-ups are doing. I seem to just have the one shot. Oh, 
I can like switch. Oh, that looks horrible. My gosh. <laughs> that was rough. No, I was looking at chat. Do you start over from the beginning of the level? I don't think so. That could actually be bad. Yeah, with no checkpoints, but they do have checkpoint respawn, you mean? Like a super R type? Shoot. A total of five people. Well, you know, I mean, if I were on a team of five people, I wouldn't. I wouldn't produce something this good. Super R-Type, if I recall, like, just doesn't have checkpoints. So, like, and the levels are long. They're, you know, maybe longer than usual R-Type level length. So you can, like, die to a boss and then be forced to replay an entire, like, six-minute level or something. Which, you know, doesn't sound that bad until you imagine, like, what if that happened five times? <laughs> It'd be half an hour of no progress. So I keep grabbing these power-ups, but I don't understand what they're supposed to be doing. If they're powering these weapons up, they're doing it invisibly, like... Okay, well, that's a really low bar. Planet Joker was an experience. Goodbye. Oh, this isn't... To me, the worst shmups on this system so far have been Rock On, obviously, but it's it's bad in such a charming way that I really like it. Uh, that terrible, what was that one shmup? Armed Formation F. That was some trash can worthy gameplay. And then it's, it's between that and um, Deep Blue for my least favorite shmup on this system so far. Which one looked too easy? Deep blue is, is painful. Oh yeah. Yeah, I was pretty salty when I died to the second one because I'm sure it's the exact same enemy possibly with more hit points, but maybe not. Get me out of this corner. But I was just reading chat, <laughs> so. <laughs> The deadliest attack in the boss's arsenal. My own attention span. I'm glad I won CC'd Splatterhouse. Not like it's, you know, a Diojo white label one CC or something. Like, yeah. <laughs> there are tougher games out there, but. It's no image fight. I have a weird, Never mind. We, we went over this actually. My belief that image fight was like some sort of impossible video game. We did finally figure out why I think that or why I thought that for so long. This homing weapon is so bad.
Honestly, Mushihime original was a... <laughs> oh, there's no room on the right? Come on. Really? Well, I'll say this. They stepped up their game after Rock On <laughs> because Rock On was a lot worse on a technical level. But then it hit that like awful sort of um, it, it hits that awful like valley where like you the game isn't bad enough to be like charming and it's quirky, you know, screwiness. And it's also not good enough to be fun, though. For my money, Rock On is is the superior experience, whether it's the superior game. Yeah, you're really not a psychosis fan, huh? I liked that game, but the thing is it really didn't put up a fight when I played it. I like one C C it on my second credit or something. So if if I hadn't kind of lucked into beating the game really quickly, I might not feel so good about the game, but 1992. Hopefully by then they've like figured a thing or two out because apparently Arm Formation F was an arcade port, which I guess is why it was like <laughs> so much more like both competent and boring than Rock On, which was just like one of the goofiest video games I've ever seen, I think. Okay, now this time. Oh no, it just goes down and gets you. <laughs> That's way different. All right, I'm starting over, starting over. Starting over. They set me up. They made that other spider just sit there and die. And then the second one, like, actually does stuff. <laughs> it's not my fault. So it looks like maybe you level up the weapons in between levels. I wonder if they, that's what all these icons are about. Is that you use them to upgrade the weapons later? Because, like, the homing weapon seems bad because it doesn't do enough damage. But, what if the rate at which it scales up in damage outstrips the rate at which the enemies get tougher? You know? I feel like that, that has potential for <laughs> a weapon to focus on, assuming there's any, like, interactivity to building your loadout and it's not just a function of how many power-ups you collected. I don't know. I just... I expect him to have a hitbox that doesn't really make sense when you consider how big he is. Well, yeah, because I keep resetting. <laughs> I mean, that'll do it. Ah, yes, have fun. Does Raiden ever get ported to this system? This might be kind of controversial, but I'm not a big Raiden fan. I'm a way bigger um, Kyokyoku Tiger fan, which I feel like those games have a decent amount in common. I like Raiden fighters a lot. There we go. It's not Raiden, though. I mean, like, it it wasn't even called Raiden 
in development. It was Gun Dogs until it came time to release it. It might even be called Gun Dogs in Japan. But they like slapped the Judge Spear from Viper Phase One and the Raiden Mark II in there as like secret ships and then went, hey, it's Raiden Fighters. No kidding. Which right in one? Shoot. I don't know. This isn't that fun. But I keep comparing it to armed formation F in my head, which was just like, what if you were to just take boredom and run it through a, a compiler. It would just spit out a binary of armed formation F, so this game's fine. <laughs> I'm still... It's been so long since I last played Splatterhouse. I'm actually not sure I beat it on RGB. That might have been a composite game, which that's been a while. That was in the pre days. I seem to remember this checkpoint being really nasty. The sailboat days, yeah. That seems really far. Are you like secretly incredible at shmups? I, by any chance. <laughs> I, it's like so hard to be good at shmups. <laughs> yeah. Also, personally, I find that when I like decide I'm just gonna. I said stage six seems really hard or really far, and then I asked, Are you secretly like really good at shmups? Anywho. I, the thing about me and shmups is like, I don't have a lot of time to play video games when I'm not streaming them. And I don't think it's, oh wait, what's the like, <laughs> this game sucks. <laughs> um. Oh yeah, so like, I found that generally, if you stream shmups, you don't get a ton of viewers. And it honestly makes sense because I think from a viewer's perspective, this is really repetitive, especially these games with checkpoint respawn, right? Like if someone's not doing hot, you're gonna see the same section of the game over and over and over again. Um, so as a result, I don't have a lot of time that I practice shmups like I could. But ah, uh, yeah, I'm doing fine. Thanks. Uh, I'm definitely gonna get. I can't believe I didn't get owned for that. Oh, you know what? Uh, there we go. Wow, 
This isn't like really a homing laser. It just does this. This is not good at all. <laughs> I have to beat the first stage. I can't just move on to... Oh, geez. <laughs> I can't just move on without beating the first stage. <laughs> Xanak is awesome. That's one of those games that, like, I could understand why someone would not like it if they just, like, don't like... Um early NES and Famicom graphics. But I think that's a game that like anyone who has an interest in shmups should try and like really try, like learn the the rank management and like the lander manipulation and everything just to see if it's your thing. I see. I really want to get good at, um, like cave style shmups with really dense and complicated bullet patterns. I think that would be a lot of fun <laughs> to be able to do that. I mean, here's the thing. Oh, the game is no good because that happens. Here's the thing, I like used to be pretty good at Guilty Gear. I, I've, you know, said this a million times. I realize this isn't new information, but when I was getting into Guilty Gear, I kind of thought that like the game would be more enjoyable once I got there and once I started playing at a high level. And it was in a way, but then in a way it was like less fun, <laughs> you know, like, you can't really enjoy it casually anymore at that point. Well, I've missed a speed up, so <laughs> this one's dead. Um, and like, you tend to get jaded. I wonder if I were to get good at shmups, if the same thing would happen. Like I'm imagining it would be really fulfilling because I could just go from tough bullet hell game to tough bullet hell game and, you know, clear them relatively quickly and like have any business thinking about score attacking them. But maybe it's just like, eh, this is fine. <laughs> you know? Crapped by Testament. If I'd been there, I would have told you how to deal with Testament. <laughs> Which version were you playing? Accent Core. Accent Core Testament. That was no fun to deal with for anybody. He was like... Testament to me, I don't like him like as a character. Like he's never, he's not one I would ever like play. I tried to, and um, I don't know. I was not bad with him. I just like couldn't motivate myself to play a character that aesthetically I hated that much. Anyway, to me though, apart from on an aesthetic level, which like he's not my thing. That's fine. They don't all have to be. He sort of embodied everything that was cool about Guilty Gear when like reload and even XX were new because Testament was crap. Like he, he just, the system had a lot of ways um, built in to deal with Testament. But if you played against a good Testament, he was, an absolute nightmare, you know? And like, at the highest level of play, you would see like mid and low tier characters who, you know, they had a lot of problems, like still catch people off guard, you know? Whereas like when people won with low tiers and Capcom games, it looked like torture. Like, you felt so bad for them. Like, you know, why are you playing Sean? You poor thing, you know.
Whereas even like Anji. Good Anji players made him look really fun. Reload was the one where they added Robokai. He was a console only character before then. And yeah, he was really, really good. Unbelievably so. Really? <laughs> well, that's one positive then. <laughs> Is this all? Do you just run from this guy when he's down here? And... <laughs> that was easy. What was the point of that? So can I like make... Oh! So... Thunder is the homing one, right? But <laughs> let's go all in. Thunder. All right. <laughs> I made a really bad choice. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's so bad. These enemies aren't even dying. The stage is kind of cool. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Well, at least I knew it was a mistake as I was making it. But yeah, like reload. A time when you could point to characters like Testament and Eno and go, yeah, this character's like not that good. Like <laughs> when characters like that were in the bottom half, you know, at least according to most people, like that was really interesting back then because it seems like games are a lot like more carefully balanced these days. So like, oh, that speed down? What a cruel game this is. Hey, Clage, how are you? That's weird, I was just talking about Guilty here. Uh, so I'm playing this. <laughs> There's not much to say about that. Uh, get this guy. This is like a decent, maybe, shmup. Um, after, at the end of the level, you get to like choose which of your weapons you want to level up. And so I knew the homing weapon would either be like really good at max level or really bad. I think it was that second one. <laughs> so I made a mistake. Thanks for the follow. <laughs> um, oh! So normally I do these streams on Tuesdays. Um, I was building a computer yesterday and it ended up taking my entire evening, so did it Wednesday instead. But um I've been going through every PC engine game in um chronological order and just trying them all out. There really is no middle ground. Um and uh tonight the games you missed were uh Carmen San Diego, where is, and um, Splatterhouse. <laughs> You're just in time for this. Um, this game's okay. The first level is really boring. Really, really boring. I don't, I think I need to go back to the first level. This build mistake was Absolutely disastrous. Oh, you dummy. Your hitbox is huge in this. Uh, actually, what else is there tonight? Power Drift, which I'm not looking forward to, and Shanghai 2. Okay, well, this is the last, like, real video game of the night, so... <laughs> I'll take my time with it, that's fine. 
Uh, anyway, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. But, like, low-tier characters who still looked really fun and strong and, like, interesting were sort of, like, unique in the... Because, I don't know, think about what was, like, really popular when Guilty Gear first, like, started hitting arcades, right? It was, like, CBS 2 and Third Strike and stuff, which, like, those games are fine, but there's a reason that when you think of them, you think of their, like, three or four strongest characters. Um, it, do, it does seem less unique these days. I honestly think they're just better at making fighting games not really stratified in terms of matchups. Uh, I hope so. I didn't think of that. The redo your build thing. Uh, here we go. This is awful. I'm going to die now because... <laughs> It seems like the boss fights are like you just fight the same guy twice, but the second time you fight it, it gets right in your face. What's happening? What's happening? Goodbye. Goodness. Uh, I kind of thought that wasn't going to be the end. The last level only had two boss fights. It's so bad. So it like kind of tries to home once it hits something some of the time. So of course, knowing that it was a terrible idea, well, all right, let's start over. Knowing it was a terrible idea, I put all my points in it at the end of the first level. And anyway, now I have to go back to the first level. Check this out. <laughs> this is, this game isn't deep blue, but this is not a very exciting shmup stage. Yeah, that means like psychic. <laughs> Same deal with uh, Psycho Crusher and Bison's move. That's like <laughs> kind of unfortunate because, you know, when a native English speaker hears Psycho, we tend to think like, you know, the Alfred Hitchcock meaning. That always gets kind of sloppily translated from Japanese, I think, because, you know, it is the same word, or it's the same syllables anyway. All right. This walk cycle is just a delight. <laughs> Especially when you're sliding side to side, like, look at his feet. What a wonderful video game. Jeez. Ooh. Nah, nah, that's a good one. Okay, like, question? Actually, walk cycle is like industry jargon, right? Like animation industry jargon. And I remember for most of my life, like that was not a term that I would have known or like anybody would have known, but, but now everyone seems to have acquired that knowledge. When did that become like the general term for it instead of just like walking animation or something? I have a, <laughs> I have a hypothesis. <laughs> Uh, am I the only one here who watches Spongebob? Probably. <laughs> There's a Spongebob episode. The Lost episode. Where, like, they had Tom Kenny, like, dress up as the pirate guy. And, like, do this whole live action segment. And it was all about how they finally uncovered the Lost episode of Spongebob. And they were going to show it off to the world. Does anybody remember this? <laughs> and... 
and you know they they hype it up for like 20 minutes and then they they play the walk the lost episode and it's just like a really corny song and a looped walk cycle and that's it and he goes that was it that was just a bunch of cheap walk cycles and that's the first time i ever heard the term i wonder if if other people acquired that knowledge the same way <laughs> I almost got decked out over SpongeBob when I was working at the arcade. That was fun. No, no, right. Yes, yes, yes. There we go. It should live like one more cycle. No, <laughs> no, it didn't. <laughs> okay. So don't put all the points in multi or in thunder. What do you think? Just all in on fire? I'm doing it. Uh, this seems pretty sick. <laughs> what? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You said Skeeter, and I, I thought of Doug. I'm going to be honest. Like, I've never been the type to... Ooh. I've never been the type to, like, not... do something I enjoy because it's, like, not age-appropriate, you know? Like, I remember being really into... Um... Um, Sailor Moon, at an age when I, I think, like, a lot of people would have been, like, sort of sheepish about that, and I didn't give a shit, right? Um, and Spongebob was one of those things, but I actually never would have discovered it if not for my cousin, who lived with us for a little bit and was, like, definitely the target audience, like, target age group. We watched a lot of Spongebob together and Adventure Time. And card capture Sakura. <laughs> That's it. That's the story. <laughs> and when the game's not that interesting, you gotta, <laughs> you gotta come up with something. Remember how impossible this was? When this weapon wasn't, like, doing a billion damage? Look at this. Look at this! The game's not even trying. Uh, it was coming out on DVD. Like, I got the DVDs, um, when she was, like, four? And, you know, we would watch them every once in a while. Growing up. Or, as she was growing up, I mean, I was already pretty much grown up. But, um, I think she maybe preferred the dub, because, you know, when you're that young, like, <laughs> reading subtitles is kind of a tall order. Whoosh. What's gonna happen? Yikes. <laughs> that got dicey all of a sudden. Whoosh. I should maybe not be... What? It's just a normal enemy? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Wild. Dude! Look at this thing! Shh, 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 shh. 
Yeah, there we go. Get up here. <laughs> Absurdity! You can change your build in between lives. That didn't even occur to me. I still think this is the way to go for this boss, but... <laughs> You're a genius! Okay, I generally like a challenge out of my video games, but I must say, if this game was just like, it just made no effort to be hard, and it just let you like, collect power-ups and, and like, play for stress relief, I would probably enjoy it more. Cause like, when you die and you lose all your speed ups and it's like so hard to fight your way back, that's kind of a bummer. <laughs> Uh, for the most part, they're, like, not that good. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Why would you design bosses this way? <laughs> I was into Pokemon, the cartoon. I only played Gen 1 because, um, I started going to arcades, um, pretty shortly after that, meaning I got really into Soul Calibur and DDR, and um, Pokemon was neither of those, so I almost clawed my way out of that. Oh no, what's happening? What's happening? What's happening? Gosh. <laughs> there we go. That one bullet. <laughs> what a terrible place for that. Okay. I really like this robot thing. Yeah, I was born in, um, 84, so, like, I was a little too young for He-Man, like, that was sort of, like, more my brother's thing. Oh, no, he's got more phases. What's gonna happen? Okay. Like, to me, when you're that age, like, two years is a really big difference when it comes to, like, what cartoons you're gonna enjoy, <laughs> you know? Like, I knew a lot of people who were only two years younger than me who were super into Power Rangers, and I just, like, did not get it at all. That was a cool boss. Okay, so... Multiway seems like the next best one. Thunder might still be better than Buster, but I kind of worry that they're going to make Buster, like, important. Hey, Mackenzie. Do you not know math phase? <laughs> oh! Thing is scary as... Look at this! Oh, it's a bit. I see. <laughs> this level's awesome. Look at this. Ooh, ant lions. I get really excited when I see an ant lion in a video game. I don't know. <laughs> I FF4 was like my favorite game growing up. It definitely like left an impression on me. Shoot. I used to really want to be a fantasy writer when I was young. I think FF4 was a bigger part of why than like The Hobbit or something, you know? And, um... So, ant lions to me are, are like just the coolest creatures in the universe <laughs> because they were in FF4 bots.
Oh, really? Yeah, I was, I was horrible at math growing up. It was really just like my school's like approach to teaching math was a mismatch for me. So once I got out of um, elementary and junior high, which were the same thing for me, it was the same school. Suddenly I was like good at math, which was a totally unfamiliar feeling. Air quotes good. I don't really remember even basic math these days because you don't use it doing my job. You probably should, but I don't. Oh dear. Okay. All right. No big deal. Oh gosh. I cannot believe that worked. Your hitbox is huge in this game. That was like the biggest fluke. How many stages do you think there are in this? I should like probably credit feed my way through it from this point forward, right? This game really just put a horrible foot forward, you know that? The first level is like way less interesting than the other ones. Shoot! What do you think this does? Dude, look at me. I'm gold. Uh, yeah, $3 a bottle sounds right. I, Sobe is like hard to find here though. It was like, you could get it everywhere in like the late 90s and early 2000s or you know, somewhere in that. <laughs> Plus or minus a decade, like. <laughs> I feel like it used to be a fixture of like grocery stores and uh, convenience stores and stuff, and now I don't really see it very much. Yeah, I thought so too, but like, Bug picked some up like recently. There we go, there we go. What do we got? Oh, dude! Yeah, big surprise there. <laughs> the boss just rushes all the way to the bottom of the screen and kills you. Like, it's, the whole game is like this. Uh, let's see. Interesting, so like, fire is stuck maxed out. Actually, multi-way, maybe. This really doesn't matter. I was kind of hoping the gold Robocop would bring with it a hit of super armor, but I guess not. Well, armor armor, I guess. I don't... I really want to like this game. This has a lot going for it, but I really hate these boss designs. They're just absurd to me. <laughs> like... Okay. Um... <sighs> Hopefully this doesn't time out. How many stages Psycho Chaser PC Engine Yeah, Hyper Armor never runs out. So that was stage three. Is that right? The game has six stages. Because <laughs> it had dragon in the name. I I hate continuing in shmups. I, I have, like, the wrong attitude about shmups because I didn't really understand 
I went through two or one shmup phase toward the end of high school. Um, and I would just buy any shmup I could get my hands on, and I got really into the shmups forums. And I saw that everyone's scores were done on one credit, and I was like, well, that makes sense, because if you could just continue all the time, there's not much challenge to it, right? So I took that to mean that continuing at all was a bad idea. So I would play games and just do one credit and not continue and start over from the beginning and do that over and over again until I learned to 1cc a game. I didn't learn to 1cc very many games because that's a really inefficient way to do that. Cool. And, um... The, um... There we go. So yeah, like, I think it really held me back. Um, I had some really good, like, <laughs> level one scores. Like, I got over 400 Disco Men on stage one of Dangan Fever on. I know that doesn't mean much to anybody here, but it's... That's pretty good, <laughs> like... I was just playing out of my mind, you know? And then of course my credit died on stage three because that game is really hard and I didn't really know anything past, you know, the part where I tended to start losing my lives. And I would get frustrated too, which it doesn't happen so much these days, but it was a big problem back then. Um, but like when I'm playing a shmup casually, I still like just feel wrong continuing even though it just it makes sense right why wouldn't you credit feed through a game first once or twice at least so you know what to expect shoot so <laughs> it could be i don't know did i make it to the second checkpoint yes just barely But in the interest of maybe seeing stage four, I'll continue. I don't know if I have it in me to continue like more, but what do you mean? Well, it depends on the person, doesn't it? Like, I do know some people who don't like to credit feed because they don't want to like try to take in too much at once, you know? And, like just playing the entire game start to finish can be overwhelming. Right, yeah, and like, I don't really think that that's a, a good mindset, honestly, like... I think like, well, it depends. Like... If I'm playing something... Just to 1cc it... It's still my preferred way to play. But if I'm like, treating something as a project, and like, I want to get good at it, and possibly like, keep playing it after I 1cc it... Then, yeah, I'm gonna try to force myself to credit feed it. That game is gonna be Dangan Fever on, by the way. I don't know if I'll ever do that on stream, but I want to get good at Dangan Fever on. I've actually got a board, and so after I get um, capture from either my cabinet or a super gun set up, I, cool, I will start grinding it a little bit. I can't. I can't do more credits of this. this. This game is fine, but not that fine. <laughs> you know? <laughs> All right. Uh, Power Drift is next. I need to grab something to drink if I'm going to do Power Drift. I'm pretty sure this is like a racing game. That's a genre that I have no interest in and also no natural aptitude for. So it tends to be a blow up every time I play these. Uh, anyway, speaking of Dangan Feveron, here. No, not that one. That one sucks. I'll be right back.
I'm back. You have to see Power Drift and hear it. Look at this. This is so goofy. Isn't this an arcade game? This looks really familiar. This looks awesome. <laughs> There's a Spectrum version. Oh no. I hope this port is like based on the ZX Spectrum version. That <laughs> would make my day. Oh my gosh. I made a mistake. My poor computer has been working super hard because I didn't, uh, <laughs> I didn't close like 18 tabs of browser. So that's, that's embarrassing. <laughs> All right. But there's so many guys, Stroganoff. <laughs> Why is his name Stroganoff? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> There's only two girls, huh? <laughs> this was that era of video gaming. Uh, I feel like I have to play both Stroganoff and Emily. Oh, that's not the acceleration button, that is. What is happening? Oh dear. How do you change gears? It's select? The one button like doesn't do anything. Why would it be select? Oh no, it plays like a nightmare. Oh nuts. like not trying at all. <laughs> See, I used to think that I liked racing games a lot. What I like is Mario Kart because Mario Kart is generally like pretty easy. I think Super Mario Kart is hard, personally. But like the Wii one and stuff, like you pretty much never have to think about tapping the brakes. SB2 cart, what's that? But now that I'm like playing all these retro games, dude, old racing games are impossible. <laughs> did, did you know this? Like it's the hardest genre of video game ever made. Oh, it's down and then up to pick the low gear. That's actually really nice. <laughs> it's actually, it's actually really good. I just coincidentally hit down and then select. And so I misunderstood which one like worked. <laughs> I told you, this is a blow up. Am I just dead? No, there he is. I think there's like no, yeah, yeah. First and second already finished. I'm basically playing not to lose third place at this point, which I didn't. <laughs> Motion sickness simulator. Is this too loud? This looks a little too loud on the mixer. I'm just gonna assume the answer was yes, and if it wasn't, you 
you can correct me. I'll, I'll go fix it. Did the uh, arcade version do this, where the the music didn't like change <laughs> for different tracks? I'm actually kind of digging it. I just wonder if that's like accurate. You can't keep stroking off down, baby. Here I come. I don't think I'm going to get top three this time. Oh, that's it. Oh, I'm s I didn't go to the low gear. There we go. You can keep Stroganoff down, as a matter of fact. That's good. Game over. What's the last game again? Yeah. Probably. Emily time, here we go. Oh God. Probably the golf. I, I there are a lot of really bad racing games on this console. <laughs> Oh, look at you, Emily. Look at this. Second place. I don't think I ever saw second place with my main. Oops. This isn't even my business character. This is awesome. <laughs> These... I think I've maybe seen the arcade version of this, and like the, the sprites have a lot of personality in that. But in this game, like... It's like... They remind me of the portraits you would see in like a Rareware developed like NES port of a like, oh, she died. Oh, no. <laughs> Holy smokes. I, that never happened with Stroganoff. Anyway, of like a, a Spectrum Jeopardy game or something. That's what the faces remind me of. Whatever, it's not my main. Who has the tier list? Did someone, can someone pull it up? And if Stroganoff and Emily are god tier, please lie to me and say they suck. Those are sunglasses, Ashen Circle. <laughs> Is it really? Yeah, see. I'm telling you, get that, get that tier list. Let's figure this out.
<laughs> Look at this guy. He kind of looks like Phil Hartman. Just in the face. Well, of course, there's nothing but the face. <laughs> what else could I possibly mean? <laughs> oh no! Oh, this guy's horrible! <laughs> Are they all the same? Do they all max out at 240? Mm -hmm. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for following. They all max out at 244. Kimmel there's no tier list because there's one character with like 17 different skins. <laughs> Abort the tier list lookup. I think we cracked the code. They're all S tier. The free DLC days for microtransactions. What's the one no one likes? Microtransactions. DLC is a less specific thing, right? <laughs> oh, nuts. True. In that case, give me a tier list. Hang on, Jason, you didn't like? Jason's fine. You know, one thing I'll say about that PC Engine slash TurboGrafx-16 port of Splatterhouse. I didn't think the sound was quite so good. I know I've heard the arcade version and I think it's awesome. It sounds great. So, between that and this and a shmup, what was it called? Psycho Chaser. I think this has been a bad night for audio. Stop. Oh no. Uh, I think downshifting to the low gear when you take the turns might be better than trying to break. Yeah, you see this? I lost less total speed and I cornered way better. Look at this. Remember how, like, I could not keep up with that corner before? Monster Land game. The goblins. Do you mean Bikurima? Oh, I see what you're doing. You're doing a bad audio goof. Yeah. Bikuriman World. No, I won't be playing that. I'm... He... I... There's a Vincent Price monologue about, like, falling into the depths of Naraka or something. And I couldn't remember it in time to... I still don't remember it, like, verbatim, but... I couldn't remember it in time to recite it for what just happened. See, I would say that I've, like, cracked the code with the cornering, because it's way easier if you just downshift when you start to hug the outside of the turn. But I mean, if I really knew what I was doing, would I be in fifth place? <laughs> Could be, yeah. Could be. 
We'll go with that. Ah, uh, Shanghai 2. I don't know anything about this. So Shanghai is that same game that, like, you've played on computers and stuff. The, like, Mahjong-themed tile-matching game. Uh, it was actually one of the first two games released for the system. It was Shanghai, the first one. Um... This is interesting because it's a CD game. Um, dude, Victory Run was so hard. I don't know. I want to see someone who's good at these games. So retro baseball games and retro racing games attack these. Because sure, they feel impossible, but I don't know what I'm doing. What if there's like a... That looks so bad. <laughs> this is CD audio. I want to keep, I want to let it play. This is good. Well, that was quick. Huh. This is the demo. Well, forget that then. I'm just going to play. I know, is he good at those kinds of games? The retro racing games? I know he played the Sega Rally one. Whoa, look. You've got the norm font, the real font. The alpha font and the organ font. Yeah, I, Sega Rally is the one I was trying to think of. Yeah, get him to get him to play these piece of crap racing games and see if he can figure out how to win. Real alpha, <laughs> real alpha. Oh my god, dragon! I thought it was like O R G N, like original. For crying out loud, dude. You, they were all over PC. This is this game got ported to everything. Am I playing? Yes. So there's like a strategy to this and I didn't know it. And then I was informed how to play correctly um, when I was streaming this and I've since forgotten all of it. So yeah. Like, like, that's counterintuitive to me that that's not a legal move, but it's because this is right here. Uh, I think I can do these sevens, right? It's too haku. Okay, so you can do that. Uh, what about this? Yeah, like, I don't know. Yeah, I thought Mahjong was like a solitaire game that you played where you just tried to match tiles for a really long time. Of course, you know, I was a kid. Now I know that Mahjong is like fun, fun is like fun as shit. Guess I'll do this, I don't really know, like. This looks like a nightmare. These two just right next to each other. So this is a massive improvement over Shanghai 1. The PC engine. Because of the audio. Like, I think that may have been a bad play because it didn't really like do much for me because it didn't open anything up over here. Like, this is music that I would actually like I, I would not need to listen to this under duress, you know? I mean, I'm not going to roll around town bumping the Shanghai 2 soundtrack, but... And then just tomorrow, I've got an IRL stream of me doing exactly that. Uh, I don't want to do that yet. I guess I can, right? Because... Uh... 
This cursor speed I picked was not a good call. It's a little too fast. Am I out of moves? <laughs> I don't feel like I did too hot. Uh, is this Red Book? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, we're there, yeah, there is. Is this GG? It looks like it. Is that one of these? Okay, yeah. That didn't, that didn't really do me any good, but I did it. This. Does this thing not have a sibling yet? Maybe it's down here. Nope. I guess I have to get rid of this first. I have to get rid of this. I don't know that I can do that. Did I have threes somewhere? I guess not. Where's the other... F oh my god, it's buried all the way over here? I don't know about that. Oh yeah, you know what, you're right. About... This, like, almost has to be Red Book, because it sounds too good. Um, right... that did I want to do this this like seems like something I was working toward no that I had no good reason to do that <laughs> uh where's the other one Um, that probably was streamed, right? What's this tile called again? It's always the one I don't remember. There's Haku, there's Chun, which is this. There's, um, Atsu? Is that this? Mm, there's something. <laughs> Who knows? I think I might actually be stuck. And, oh, oh, okay. If you insist, game. Okay, now... Yeah. <laughs> That's what I thought. There we go. Yeah, I don't think it's random either. I think that's like a fixed pattern, isn't it? Monkey! Monkey! Okay. So you don't have to do the stages in order, that's cool. What about the music? Different stages have different music. It's brilliant. What about this? I just picked monkey again, dude. I even saw the kanji as I hit one and I was like, this, that's monkey.
Uh, this is how every good story starts, but does anybody remember the YTMND? Where it's like a, a Metal Gear Solid, like Solid Snake is dying thing. Through like a, a like Microsoft Bob, like text to speech thing. And it's, so it's Microsoft Bob going, snake, 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 because it's someone saying snake, snake, and then S-N-A-A-A-A-K-E, because they're screaming. That passed for humor in, uh, like, <laughs> 2006, five, something. What's this? Okay. They, those were brothers? How do you figure? What? What? How am I supposed to know that? <laughs> I guess I'm supposed to like know something about Mahjong is the idea. Maybe those are like wild cards and they can all cancel each other out. Please. Yeah. The... That version of guess what, Chad, seems to be gone. That I've I've been looking for like it's like that was one of the first ones I think, right? I guess I can do this, right? Of course not. Okay. gonna take the hints. <laughs> I feel like I wanted to do this for some reason. Right. Who was looking at their TV screaming, trying to get me to do that? <laughs> How long has that play been uh, in play? Wasn't there a pesky? No, I got rid of it. <laughs> Three bamboo ones. What? Huh? What? Huh? Stop honking at me, game. You know, I could play a different video game. <laughs> as fun as this is, I bet some games are even more fun. They're a, a Maverick 7. Yeah, here we go. Do I see an 8? Do I want this? Yes, because of this. But then, yeah, I, I still can't because of that. It's so weird to me. Am I the only one who, like, when I'm moving diagonally with a D-pad, I tend to do this instead of this? Is this weird? I'll see it. Give me a sec. I'll find it. I don't see it. I think you're making it up. Ah. Hmm. 
Where's this? Oh my, the whole time! Was that there the whole time? That was the one you were talking about? You weren't making it up, it was right there. <laughs> uh, this seems like a critical choice here. I'd want to do these, right? No, these. These are the last two fours. <sighs> Did I just do it? Okay, yeah. That wasn't me trying to smart off. I, I like, legitimately did not remember. Well, that's mean. So I guess these have to be the last two, right? Or just do it right now. <laughs> uh, here we go. then this happens, right? And I don't know. It's getting down to the wire. Oh, right. Well, that's a huge problem, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. That's kind of what I was thinking, too. I can't drop this two off. If I could, it'd be smooth sailing. I think I have to do these, right? That doesn't do anything. Is this a uh, legal play? Yes. This? Yeah, okay. Well, <laughs> kind of thought it was working toward that. That's Shanghai too. I don't know, that was fun, right? Like.